Hey guys, Chris here from Excel Maven with another quick tip, and this is one of my all time favorites. Now, let's say you've built a chart in Excel to show some sort of trend in data, in this case, average daily temperature. The problem is each time you add new data to the source range in columns A through B, you need to reselect your chart and drag that reference down to accommodate those new rows. Now, one solution here might be to transform this range into a table but I actually prefer a different, more flexible solution, and that's to create a dynamic range using the offset and count A functions. And what that does is allow my chart source to stretch and transform as new rows or columns are added or removed. So for example, if I go ahead and add three more days of data here and add data to those rows, you can see that my chart automatically updates to include those new data points. Once you've taken this approach, you'll never have to manually update your charts again. Now, if you want to learn how to create your own dynamic chart using these functions, check out my full Udemy course on Excel charts and graphs. You'll get tons of downloadable resource files and case studies just like this one, one-on-one -on -one instructor support, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. I'll see you there.